Hi, I'm B for Next Mechanics, and in today's Cyber Training Saturday, we're taking a look at Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise, Clef Jumper. So, Transformers Prime is extremely special to me. I was there when it was first airing. Hang on, you're a teenager. That makes you. Yeah, I was like five when I was watching it. <laughs> I'm old now. It's my Transformers show. You guys have got like G1, some of you got the Bayverse movies, animated. This was my thing. And Cliff Jumper, I mean, sure he showed up for one episode, but he made a hell of an impact. That image of the car mode driving along the desert, it's ingrained in my brain. And his voice being done by The Rock of all people is just brilliant. And my favorite thing, this is spoilers by the way, so skip ahead a couple seconds if you don't want to. They kill him off and they actually make it meaningful. Instead of doing what they did in the War for Cybertron cartoon, where, you know, there's heads on spikes and it's dark and everyone's dead, they kill him and they make an impact on all the other characters around him. All the people that he knows and has worked with and helped out and whatever, they all feel something. And it's just one of my favorite pieces of writing in any Transformers media. But enough of all that whiff waff. What about the figure? So this is the Robots in Disguise version. I know the first edition's more accurate or it's more intricate. This is my one and I really love it. He's got that killer screaming face done in that unique prime style of the no nose, but sort of helmet nose. He's got an almost G1 style chest where it's the top of the car, but this time with the bonnet now meshed on there as well. The wheels on the shoulders and those awesome feet with the exhaust pipes hanging off. He's even got light piping. His articulation, despite being like a 10 year old figure, is actually pretty comparable to what we get nowadays. I mean, because his feet are ball jointed, he even has ankle rockets. For accessories, he comes with a gun, hammer. While design is kind of weird, I think it fits perfectly. It's got that very cybertron -y vibe. And I mean, Cliff Jumper with a hammer, <laughs> that's just brilliant. Now I do need to address the main thing that I think people criticize a lot about this mold is that he has faux parts. The bonnet on his chest is on his arms. It's not accurate, it's weird. I don't care. <laughs> and I'll show you why I don't care. It's because of the way he transforms. See, his arms form the front of the vehicle mode and the way they just swing around with that automorph for the head and the gears is just genius. I wish they did more automorph lately. The way the panels on his thighs and his feet are able to just connect together to form the back end is brilliant. And sure, he has a backpack, but it's in three separate plates that, if you do it just right, all slot together. It's so satisfying. And after all that, we get the car mode that's been ingrained in my brain since I was five. The thing I love about Prime is that it kind of mixes the g one cartoony style with a slight bit of movie-verse realism. And this car mode is a perfect blend of that. The front is just amazing. The headlamps are painted in that beautiful sort of blue. The horns made of that slight rubber so you don't poke your eyes out. The hubcaps having that sort of star pattern. Clear plastic that doesn't feel like it's gonna shatter if I breathe on it funny. And while the back of the car is a bit basic, it's a lot cleaner than the kinds of backs that we get nowadays. That hammer gun can plug on top and uh, I don't love the way it looks but I, I guess it's there. He also has a 5mm port on his gas tank which I think it's just brilliant. It's only on that one side, and it means that you can plug it on the side, and yeah, it doesn't look particularly great. I personally think it's brilliant to just have it in hammer mode, kick the ankles out from underneath all the Decepticons. So that's Prime Red Cliff Jumper. He's a figure that I've had for a long time now, and I just think he's aged especially well. Is he the best Cliff Jumper mold? I don't know but he's my favorite one. It makes me really excited to see that Legacy's carrying on doing Prime characters. I was worried the backlash with RC and Bulkhead would mean they'd stop, but we've got Skyquake coming later this year. We've got Thundertron possibly rumored. That's gonna be cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video on a personal favorite of mine, and I'll see you next week. Farewell.